Hi, I'm in the airport in Seattle about to head home. I've been on an Alaska cruise. It was a great time. You know what was really interesting is we learned some things about animals. We went on whale watching and we had a great time. We saw many whales, learned a lot about their habits and, and how they go home to the same place they were born to have their young and how they breach not so often uh, unless they're doing it to win a mate and they uh, they feed up because they take this long trip without eating and so it was very interesting and fun and we also went on the Skagway Railroad and we heard about um, and we saw uh, elk and we saw bald eagles and that was interesting and we then we went to Ketchikan and we we heard about salmon and how they spawn and they come back to where they were born the very place they were born they swim up the river and it's great challenge to swim up the river sometimes because of the currents and they work their way up there to be born to give birth or spawn in the same place where they were born and you know I was thinking about these animals who have such uh, instincts and uh, those who don't believe that God created the world I believe in evolution and somehow the world came out of an explosion I just don't get it you know what these animals, they're so unique and they have such amazing ways about them. And could that just evolve? Do you really think that the, des the desire to go back and be give birth where you were born and didn't even know where it is? Humpback whales go hundreds of miles to give birth in a different place that they've never been to probably since they were born, but they know how to do it. It was great fun to see these things, to be reminded of God's hand in creation, his total control of it all, and how it came out of his brilliant and ordered mind to make man, to make animals and, and creatures like they are. And he also makes us. And there's so many intricate, amazing things about us. The way our eye focuses. You know, it's interesting if I'm looking through uh, binoculars or something, as I was sometimes, I can't see the peripheral vision and I miss things. And yet our eye can focus ahead and meanwhile catch what's going to the side. It's an amazing thing. And all sorts of things we remember about ourselves that, yeah, we're an amazing creature because we were made by our Creator and we were made in His image. Let's remember that. And, and in our world today that tries to take God out of creation, that's an important, important truth that God is the Creator. He not only created us, He created everything that is. Nothing exists that He didn't create. What a mighty God. What a power God and what a good truth to hold on to that God is the creator because he's a creator he sets the standard for what's right what's wrong what's truth and we need to look to his word look to him so we walk in truth so we walk in what's right Lord I thank you for these animals you've allowed us to see how beautiful they are and how much they remind us of your great hand in creation Lord I pray that you'll help us to always remember you the creator and to look to you for what is right what is good and how we should live our lives in Jesus name amen God bless